here for a topic in which we will configure WLAN multiple WLAN uh, in our wireless LAN controller and we will then uh, connect our user with different different WLAN so all the WLAN that you will create in WLC you will get uh, the reflection in your access point okay so currently as you see that there is one WLAN open Wi-Fi and one user is connected with open Wi-Fi no other uh, WLAN is reflecting here so just go to the PC and uh, search web browser on the web browser the IP address of the WLC so I have given if you have uh, not idea to configure WLC how we can configure then you can watch my a video in the i button or in the description below okay then after watching that video this video will help you okay so i'm just uh, accessing that uh, gui and login i have given some username and password so admin and password is also admin admin at one two three So you see that I can log in successfully. Now go to the WLANs that I that the topic. So here is one WLAN that is reflecting in the access point. So just create another one. Okay. And I want to configure like name something name that you want to give. Some secret network. Okay. SID that is the same secret network and click on apply <coughs> once it is applied go to WLAN and click on that okay and uh, status is currently disabled so check on enable and uh, if you want to give some security then a uh, layer 2 security give WPA PA2 okay and uh, enable PSK PSK in which you can give any random password that you want but it just should be matching with the clients who are connecting to this society okay so I have uh, now click on apply and it's prompted for at least one WPA policy must be enabled so okay and WPA policy okay <coughs> and then apply okay once it is applied let's see on our access point is it reflecting so we see that providing WLANs open Wi-Fi and secret network okay now try to connect this user with the secret network go to config and wireless and type the SSID secret net okay psk <coughs> wpk uh, policy so provide the password that you have given on your wlc and let's wait to connect it and you see it is connected and it's got the ip address <coughs> okay again you can try to uh, correct uh, connect another WLAN so again go to the PC and access that UI web page go to WLAN and uh, create new uh, now you can provide another profile name like I want to give a uh, my no home Wi-Fi home Wi-Fi okay SSID you can give same name and as per your choice home Wi-Fi okay and click on apply
click on enable status enable and on security click uh, security wpa enable enable pa policy and uh, psk and in psk give any password a b c d e f g h that's it and click on apply once you apply so you see that you are getting uh, three ssid here so now let's connect third user with that third ssid so i'm just connecting one smartphone yeah and go to its config and on wireless interface type the ssid third ssid home wi-fi okay and we have given the password so psk that was a b c d e f g h okay and let's wait to connect it okay now you see that third user is also connected and it is getting the ip address as well no it's not getting but it will get soon okay what do you if it is not getting then just uh, refresh it and it is getting now now you have access to the internet everything you have access to your network now you can ping to any ip like uh, let's try to ping it and it is working so everything now you have access to your network okay so thank you for watching this video hope it helped you to uh, set up a small lab in your packet tracer and let me know if you have any query question about it thank you so much